in today's video we are going to be playing with the witch which is the lowest use rate mini inside of clash mini and for that we are going to use this bk2 elixir deck which i believe it has a really good combo with the witch but before we start remember that don't use this deck it's probably not a good deck for pushing and now let's jump into the first game In game number 1 we are facing another BK player but which kind of variation he is using that's the question Anyways in route number 1 I'm just gonna go for the witch on top of the electro tail and the barbarian in there That's a 2 star miner which means bro is probably using the BK to elixir deck And thank god he did not uh, use the cleave on top of his miner or skeleton to care of that and this should be an easy round one victory for us he just lost because he did not choose the right upgrade in round number two we are having a pick out in our deck which is so good for countering the miners so i'm gonna do this and the archer in there now because of this path that i have made for my pick out, we should be able to counter that miner pretty easily Okay, that's a magic archer which is a really good counter against the witch The pika in here should deal with that miner And the archer is dealing with the magic archer so From now it is clear that this is going to be the second round victory for us as well Let's go In round number 3 I have a crazy thing in my mind I'm gonna go all in with the witch and the archer and place down the king tower with the king in the opposite side of my support minis so that his magic archer will not splash on top of my minis i am not sure if this is going to work or no but i am doing this for the content so i think the skeletons should take care of that miner in the back line his archer is targeting my archer but she is down now which is good will that magic archer solo everything i am not sure there's a lot of things in the board and easy victory against this bk2 reserve player in game number two we are facing an archer queen player okay this matchup might be where the witch will shine all right nice placement by his side but will it be enough to go through the witch the skeletons has been spawned but it is not providing enough tank for making our support minis to survive oh boy the queen in round the baron is just so good in the second round i'm fiercely going to upgrade the witch with the first ability now reroll and i'm just gonna go with a barbarian and switch to the other side just in case he tried to hook my witch i don't know if this is going to be enough or no but let's see Okay, he's basically staying in his position. Now the skeletons should be spawned, but the question is, will they provide enough tank? Oh boy, things are not looking so good for us. And we are going to lose round number two as well. What we should do in here, I think we just need a little bit more of tank. So in this round, firstly, I'm going to upgrade the archer and we can maybe... You know what we have only one extra reroll so i'm gonna upgrade the barbarian because i want to put down the king tower in this round and nice i'm just gonna go with the archer upgrade and put down the king tower in there and switch to the other side just to avoid the fisherman he goes with the training camp oh no it bro just made the biggest mistake in this game the king tower should take care of that pretty easily and now look at those skeletons the tank that they provide is insane and we must not forget the king tower as well he's a really tanky boy and this must be the third round victory for us in this round i think the witch will provide enough tank for our archer to survive so all we need to worry about is his last mini to be the fisherman all right no clue about his last mini till now he goes with a three star musketeer i am not sure if that is going to be good against the witch or no but 
it's what it is for him the skeletons are swarming in everywhere and this little queen will not do anything by herself gg is for us in round number four as well in the last round we have a pika in the shop so i'm just going to put her down and reroll now nice i'm just gonna put down the wizard as well for tanking and in this time you know what we really don't know what he is using for his last mini so i'm going to stack my win conditions in the second lane so it was the fisherman at the end but he did not got any value with him and things are not looking good for him right now the skeletons are swarming again not letting the queen's ability to hit our archer and GG's from now, we are going to win this match against this queen player. Alright guys, this is going to be the last game for today's video and we are facing a countess player. Okay, we need a Pekka. Oh no, that's a terrible reroll. I don't know if a wizard with the heel cut and a barbarian will be enough to win the first round against the countess but that was the best thing that I could have done. His P.E.K.K.A is down, but the Countess is the real problem in here. She got two stacks, and will our Barbarian be able to win against that Countess? Maybe? Things are not looking so good right now, and I think the Countess wins. In the second round, I am not sure if placing down the Witch will be good, because the Skeleton will give her a lot of stacks, but... I'm just gonna do it for the content. Now I'm gonna scrap the wizard as well. Now reroll. Wow. Forget about content, guys. I want to win this game. Oh, that's a really bad news. He's using Royal Ghost in his deck. Oh boy. The BK is tanking for the Countess ability, which is so nice for us. Big Pekka hit takes down the Countess. Come on, Pekka. And nice, his pick was not able to get one more hit and I think we are winning the second round in here. Let's go, Pekka OP. In round number 3, I tried to go for the king tower but the rerolls was not in our side so I just put down the archer with the barbarian to work as a bait for the countess. Okay. He's going with the ghost and the P.E.K.K.A upgrade which is the right thing for countering my P.E.K.K.A. His ghost is down, that count has got some backstab value on top of the P.E.K.K.A which is not good to see. One P.E.K.K.A hit but I don't think that is enough for making us win this round number 3, oh boy. In round number 4, I'm going to place down the witch so that her skeletons will bait the countess abilities and I'm gonna upgrade the barbarian as well to the roll to take care of his ice wizard as fast as possible and put down the king tower. He goes with king tower in the front, oh my goodness that's a really bad play by him. Now my troops will not go to the enemy's backline and I think our pega is useless from now. I don't think the pick will be able to hit that ghost. Oh, how does that happen? Anyways, that does not matter. I'm just gonna take it. In the last round, I'm really not sure if he has the fisherman or no, but you know what? I think the archer is useless. So, just scrap here and upgrade the wizard to the heal cat and the barbarian to the healing ability. Maybe it will be better to scrap the pick as well because. The ghost from now will counter here. Mm. No, I'm just gonna keep the Pekka to deal with the Countess and his Pekka. So I'm just gonna switch to the other side now and get ready and see what will happen. Oh boy, that's a three star royal ghost. I really don't know if we can win this, but let's see. Our Pekka is winning against his P.E.K.K.A which is nice the ghost will probably take out our P.E.K.K.A from now and will the wish with the B.K. be enough to win us this round come on the witch is down oh no we are probably losing this match against this countess player 
Well, the witch in most of cases can't provide the value that we need. Or maybe in this round I should have scrapped my pickup because obviously the 3 star royal ghost. Anyways, this is the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and see you in the next time. Bye bye.